Hello, everyone. This is your High Commander. Uh, a pretty informal non-video. There won't be much aside from images of what I'm using, which uh, will be explained in a moment. But we are doing a bit of a comparison between both of my microphones as well as both of my interfaces. Um, and I'm giving the closet a test run. I haven't formally tried to record in here yet, but I know it's ac more echoey than I'd like just because I took, I actually got to clean up in here and now I regret it a little bit. But what we're doing is we are recording me. I am currently speaking into my Marantz MBM 1000. I'll show pictures of that. And that is running into the PreSonus AudioBox USB 96. So this is what it sounds like. I think my mouth is a bit dry. Uh, if it comes through in the editing, I'll probably have to scrap this whole thing and try again. But that is what this sounds like. My idea is I'm going to pause this. I'm going to swap over to my other interface and we're going to keep the recording going. So, and this is still a bit gainy, I think, actually. I'm gonna bring it down just a bit. I'm watching the waveform right now. But this here is the same microphone, the Marantz MPM 1000. Uh, once again, I will have images up with the Behringer, let me double check, the UMC 22. Uh, as a heads up, I will be running the interfaces at their max uh, potential settings, which I know, unfortunately, for this little Behringer, that the audio box is a bit better in that regard. Um, however, you can usually get this interface that I'm speaking into right now for fairly cheap. Uh, I got lucky with uh, my audio box and managed to get it for about half the price of what most people sell it for online. So that's cool. Um, also, any gain up that I may need to do in post hopefully won't affect things too much, but I think it's okay. And this is the King B version 1 on the Behringer UMC 22. Uh, unfortunately, if you dig how the thing looks, there is a version 2. It does not look as cool in my opinion, though that is highly subjective. Uh, but no, uh, this thing, you can get this used still. It's not manufactured anymore. Uh, there is a little brother to it being the worker bee, which also has a second version. Um, and they're, they're not all stripey and it makes me sad. And I really like, I actually really do like how this microphone sounds. I don't think the interface it's on is doing it much justice if I'm being honest, but we will see how that sounds coming up. And to round us off, we have the King B version 1 going through the PreSonus Audio Box USB 96. Of all of my bits of equipment, I think this is the optimal setup for voiceover. I don't know how it's going to do out in the main room for stream, which I may or may not test with this recording. We'll find out. We'll find out together because I don't find things. But... I will uh, list the specs of each device I have talked into and ran through into my computer. I will also, uh, just because, throw up what headphones I'm listening to, because I'll also be using those to listen in on editing. And I will actually be using the AudioBox uh, 96 for uh, editing. That's primarily what I have my headphones running through on my desktop, if I'm being honest. So with that all being done, this has been a sound test a mic comparison, a good toe in the water to get ready to get back to being live, and if nothing else, to start recording some nonsense. But until then, I've been your Lord High Commander.